Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about what to do when your investment goes wrong. So I figured with the Shattered Web operation ending, and with a lot of people being invested into things that I didn't even talk about, I figured that it might be a good idea to make a video about what happens when investments go wrong, and what your next step should be when that happens, because you can always try to make some more money, or try to make a little bit of recovery after that does happen, and I think that's an important skill to know, so that's why this video is here in front of you today. Now before we begin, I also wanted to talk about my schedule, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a every two days video schedule. So that means every single two days, you're gonna get a new video from my channel. This is because this is one of my older schedules that I used and it worked out pretty well for quite a while before I started school and I have good amount of time on my hands to make this schedule happen, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to an every two day video schedule. So with that being said, let's get started with this video. So an investment going wrong, that's something that nobody wants to happen. It's a pretty dire circumstance whenever it does occur, and it can happen in anything, stocks, card games, whatever you're investing in, it can happen. And in CSGO, it is something that is pretty prominent, especially when we have a developer that essentially controls the market in some regard. But in any case, even if you're a very safe investor, it is still possible, and that's why you gotta know what happens and what you should do when that does occur. So the very first thing that you should consider is a decision based on the investment that you have. So there's two things that you can do whenever an investment fails, and that's either selling the item or holding the item through the drop. And those two things are going to be on an item by item basis, which essentially means based on what item is actually dropping and it's not going to be a good investment for you, you should determine whether you are going to hold that item further and wait for it to go back up in price, or if you should just panic sell it, try to get some money out of it, and then invest in something else. Making this decision is one of the most important things that you can do when it comes to an investment failing and figuring out whether you want to hold on to that item for a potential future or if you want to go ahead and sell the item to kind of reclaim some of the money is going to be a very important decision and also one that is usually pretty hard to make. However, people are very, very interested in panic selling things that drop a little bit below their desired price and that's why that's not usually a good thing to do and that's also why you should be a little bit more safe and cautious with it and think about things before you make the decisions on the fly. Like I said, it's on an item by item basis which means you have to determine the item itself and if if it actually has a future. So for example, something like the USB Orion, if that were to ever drop in price rapidly, you can pretty much verifiably know that it does have a future because it is in limited existence and it is pretty hard to get it out of a trade up if you were even to try to do so. So therefore that USB Orion by the same token would still be a good investment to hold on to even if the price is dropping at a certain period of time and you are invested into it. However, there are also items that are not going to be good investments and something that you should consider panic selling, and those items can be anything like the recent M4A4 Emperor from the recent Prisma case. And these items that are from new or recent cases that are dropping in price fast at any given point in time are usually items that you should consider panic selling because those items are going to be more affected by the community itself and aren't going to have sort of supply bottleneck factors. So for example, with the USP Orion, the reason that one is going to be better to hold in the future rather than panic sell at any time is because that that item is supply bottleneck. You can only get it from trade-ups, and the trade-up itself is only a 25% chance as opposed to a 33% chance that pink trade-ups usually are. And when it comes to the M4A4 Emperor, you can still obtain that from both cases and from trade-ups, and so the item is going to be more obtainable than, say, the USP Orion, which means that the item is going to be a little bit worse when it comes to dropping in price rapidly, and it is something that probably won't have a future if it is dropping in price. Now keep in mind that is new case items. Old case items, for example, like the AK-47 Redline or the Op Asimov, are from older cases that are already removed from the drop pool and do have a sort of supply bottleneck because the cases aren't as obtainable and are not as desirable to open because they're more expensive and people get priced out. With that being said, those items are still going to be good investments to hold on to if they drop at any given point in time because of their supply bottleneck. What it comes down to, I guess, is the supply bottleneck. If the item has a future, it probably is something that has a supply bottleneck in some sort of form. Either it can't be obtained through trade-ups or it can't be obtained through cases, for example. And if something doesn't have a supply bottleneck, it is obtainable in all sources and it's fairly recent, then that is something that is probably not going to be great to hold on to through a drop. Another thing that's very important to consider when it comes to investing in items and investments failing is that an item is not always a failure of an investment just because it drops below a price that you might have desired it to be at. So for example, if you look at the Desert Eagle Emerald German Gunder, a lot of people were actually seriously considering panic selling it because it went below the 100 USD dollar price point that it had hit and it's currently around the 85, 87 dollar price point right now. With that being 
being said, there was a lot of people that kind of were just like, oh, it dropped below, it's kind of crashing, we have to sell it right now. But as you can see, it maintained a pretty solid price at around $80 plus dollars and didn't really drop below that, so the item is still very, very stable, and rather is not dropping in price, but is instead equalizing in price because a lot of people were selling to make profit at the $100 point. What that means is you have to consider profit when it comes to all of these cases. Sometimes items dropping are not a failure of investment, but are rather the item equalizing in price because people have already made profit off of it and are selling off the first wave of investments. There will be more waves in the future, which means the item can still increase in the future and should not be automatically sold. Also, sometimes you may have already made profit even if the item drops. So let's say you buy an item for $10 and the item goes up to $20 and then it quickly drops back to $15 and you decide to panic sell it at $15. You still made $5 profit, you don't lose any money there, you actually gain $5 overall even though the investment technically didn't reach a goal that you had for it. Sometimes though, in the worst case scenarios, the ones that we do still have to account for, you are going to have items that drop below prices that are going to be negative profit for you and you actually lose money. These are times where things get a little bit dire and your investment choice may have been bad for one reason or another. It could just be RNG and Valve making a dumb decision that screws over your investment itself, or it could be you that didn't consider a specific factor that made the investment fail. These failures are just as important as a successful investment because these failures allow you to learn and grow and move on from there. There's still a lot of stuff that I even have to learn about investing in CSGO items. It is such a different world than something like stock investing, for example. There are a ton of differences between the two, and there's still a lot for anybody to learn when it comes to CSGO investing. Nobody is really going to be an absolute master at it. Everybody is going to have something to learn. And these failures in investments and these failures of ideas are always something that you can learn from and take in the future. And overall, it's going to be more valuable. If you invest in something and you have a bunch of factors set up for why you think it's going to be a good investment and then the item fails, that's always something that you can just learn from in the future. And that's going to be a lot more valuable than you making money off the investment in any case, because then you can go on to the next investment once you have your money back and you can make a smarter decision. And the the smarter the decision is, the more money you make in the future, and that is going to always lead you to better greatness than you could previously achieve. That's why failures of investments may lose you profit, but won't lose you profit in the mind field. And that brings me to my next point, don't panic. Don't panic on a mental state. You're going to have a much worse time investing if you panic over every little loss of profit, and you are going to want to make sure that you're always trying to learn instead of just shutting down. Like I said in my previous five investment tips video, you want to make sure that you are looking towards the future, trying to make money, finding new things to invest in and doing a lot of research instead of just focusing on one little loss here or there. And also you should try to make sure that you're always doing safe investing where you only invest in something that you're willing to lose. It's just like gambling, only gamble what you're willing to lose because at the end of the day, if you don't gamble something that you don't want to lose, then you're not going to lose anything in the end. For example, I have a Kramit Fade that is a very, very nice knife. It's something that I love and it's also something that I've been trying to get for a very long time. And that item I'm probably not going to trade, and also I'm not ever going to even consider investing it because it's an item that I don't want to lose, and if I were to invest the profits that I get from selling it, even if I made money, I would not have a Kramit Fade, and therefore I would not like to lose it. If you only invest disposable income, extra money that you have, and you aren't going to all into things, then you're going to have a better time overall, and you're not going to lose things that you actually count on. I have seen some people make some very risky decisions and invest more than they can probably afford, and that's always a horrible idea. Those people I can't even consider investors at the end of the day because they're not staying safe and they're not investing what they can lose. And that brings us to our final tip of the day, one of the most important tips I have overall for when your investment fails, and that's going to be making sure that you always reinvest what you have left over. So if you panic sell something and you get a little bit of a return back from it, then make sure that you do go and reinvest that item. The more that you reinvest, the more extension of profit you're going to have, and the more wide of a net you're going to cast over the market overall, which means that you're going to have a better understanding of the market if you are actively reinvesting in things and not just closing out all of your accounts and selling off everything and getting out. Reinvesting is going to allow you to learn a lot more about the market in a total sense, and it's also going to allow you to make sure that you gain money in cases where you may have lost money previously. Furthermore, when an investment actually does well and doesn't fail, you should always try to find a way to reinvest that money and make more overall. That's going to allow you to extend your profits and again, cast a water net over the market, and that's going to allow you to have a much more successful investment career as a whole. But anyway guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come spend it with me and check out this video. I did put a lot of hard work into it, so for that reason, I would really enjoy it if you left a like on this video to show me your support. And furthermore, if you wanna go ahead and subscribe to my channel 
for all the latest investment tips in CSGO and also making sure that you don't miss a video in the future so you have the jump start on everybody else if you turn on that notification bell would be greatly appreciated. Furthermore, we have a Discord server if you have any investment questions and want to ask our big team of investment helpers or if you want to go ahead and check out my Twitter account for a few memes and also just great overall investing tips in general then that's something you can do as well. So go check out all my social links. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you coming out and supporting me. I will see you all next time. Peace.